come on home. That's all right. No, I don't want to go home. Come on, let's go home. No, please, Daddy, let me play one more. Tell him. Let no. me play one more machine, please, Daddy. You promise to go home? Yes, after this, I promise to go home. I swear, please, let me. Oh, all right, there. Oh, what a terrific no, day! No, no. Oh, boy, help me. What a terrific day! <laughs> All right, but let me warn you. Be careful. Don't tilt the machine. Good, good, good. No, I won't. Come on. Easy. Easy. You gotta play it very gentle, like. But what? What? Real easy. So you don't tilt the machine. Look, what? Real easy. You know, nice and easy. <laughs> did I warn you? He did, the the he did it. I'm telling you, be careful. Don't tilt the machine. Don't tilt the machine. Oh, my God, don't tilt the machine. You play it too hard, Daddy. You gotta be very easy with the machine, you see? You gotta be very, very delicate and just roll it nice and easy. <laughs> I lost again! Oh, I'll show you how to play it. Look, what, what? Easy, very gentle life. I didn't even touch it! He killed it! He killed it! I didn't even touch it! <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am! Oh, you touched the machine? Yes, you did, Daddy. You don't know, Daddy. You gotta be very, very delicate with these machines. Give me a nickel, Daddy. Yeah, you gotta be very, go very delicate. Now watch very closely. You gotta go very easy. Okay, now let it go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, let it go. You know, busted the whole thing, Rodney. Rodney, listen. <laughs> When it comes to complexion beauty, American schoolgirls really know what they're talking about. Catherine Bowling reports. For a softer, smoother, brighter skin, that schoolgirl complexion look, I use palm olive soap. Ann Carmichael reports. 100% mild palm olive actually brings out beauty while it cleans your skin. Yes, for softer, smoother, brighter skin, change today to palm olive's beauty plan. Gently massage Palm Olive's 100% mild pure lather onto your skin for 60 seconds three times a day. Then rinse and pat dry. Within 14 days, you can have softer, smoother, brighter skin. That schoolgirl complexion look. And 36 leading skin specialists have proved it. 
Prove that Palmolive's beauty plan is far better for your skin than just average care with any leading toilet soap. Prove that can bring you softer, smoother, brighter skin. That schoolgirl complexion look. For 100% mild, Palmolive gives you everything you need for gentle beauty care. And remember, nature's chlorophyll is in every cake of Palmolive soap. Nature's chlorophyll is what makes Palmolive green. Special guest, Mr. Strike It Rich himself, Warren Hull. Oh, I like being a special guest, particularly when I have something special for you folks. And I have it right here. This is it, new Twin Power Fab. Now, you want to know what that Twin Power is that Fab's got? Well, I'll tell you. Number one, it's unbeatable cleaning power. And number two, unbeatable whitening power. That's why Twin Power Fab cleans and whitens your clothes as no other product can. And now, I want you to meet Mrs. Hayworth of the Fab Home Laundry. Warren's absolutely right. The greatest cleaning and whitening combination in wash day history has been added to Fab. And yet, with all its twin power, Fab is milder to hands than even leading floating soap. And what a washing job Fab does on your clothes. Starts cleaning twice as fast contains up to twice the active washing ingredient of any leading product. Fab gets clothes really clean. There's no dulling soap scum. Your washable colors look brighter. And it whitens? And how it whitens. Well, Fab contains Colgate's exclusive whitening ingredient for unbeatable whitening power with or without a bleach. That's right. Well, it was very nice of you to come over here, Mrs. Hayworth. Thanks a lot. So, friends, don't you forget now. Fab is milder to hands than even leading floating soaps. And Fab cleans and whitens your wash as no other product can. So you strike it rich now. You grab new Fab with twin power in this familiar box. Off, Captain. Thank you, Chuck. Uh, ring for the steward. I'd like to have some coffee. Oh, you you don't want any coffee, Captain. Chuck, I just said I want coffee. Give me some coffee. If you get a load of what's going to bring it to you, you'll see what I mean. Oh, why? That new steward. He looks like an idiot. <laughs> if he's an idiot, then uh, the, 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 this plane's in trouble. <laughs> if he ain't, the sketch is in trouble. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go into the wild field yonder. <laughs> Oh, you want to go half on a malted? <laughs> That's not a malted. No. 
That's for cufflinks. Look. Give me for a second. Uh, you'll have to tell me what to do. I'm going sir. to tell you what but to you're do. You're the captain. I don't know about your ship. Oh, sure, what a kid. Look, I'll tell you what to do. You've got to greet these people. Make them happy that they're here. Say hello. Be real nice to them. Oh, you've got to greet them the first yeah, thing. Greet. All right. How are you? No, 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 no. Get the microphone. The, the microphone. The microphone. Yes. Oh, all right. Jesse James. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, that's it. Oh, I got it. All right, now, now, first thing I do yeah, is... Greet him, very nice. Greet him. How are you? Oh, no, don't <laughs> Be very nice, gentle like. So oh, charming like. Charming. How are you all? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Just be real nice. Be a man, but be very gentle. Be a man, all oh. right. Yeah. Welcome aboard! <laughs> well, will you do it right? What do you want from me? I only know one other way to talk. All right, well, go ahead. Maybe that's it. Now, hear this. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, you. no, please, let me try again, Captain. Let me prove my metal. Prove your metal? Yeah. Well, here's your chancel. <laughs> Dang so. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, we want to welcome you aboard flight 26729Q. We want you to know that we'll be flying at an altitude of nine feet. <laughs> now, from New York to Los Angeles, we hope to arrive in L.A. a week from Tuesday. <laughs> Three minutes in Chicago and seven days in Winnesuck, Illinois. We want you to know that my aunt has a motel oh, there. Oh, well, what do you want from me? I... Do you hear those bells? Do you hear those bells? Yes, at the elevator. That's I have not to... an elevator. Well, what do you want from me? I don't know. You have to tell me. That means that you go to every individual person and see if their seat belt is fastened. The nice. seat belt is fastened. Jesse James! <laughs> Co-pilot, navigator, myself, and captain. <laughs> oh, just the three of you. That's yeah. all that, that fly it? That's all the three of us. Yeah, what? Oh, I see. <laughs> What's the matter? There's only three of you, the two fellas and you? Chuck, Fred, and me. We fly the ship. Well, well, Chuck and Fred are smoking in the lounge, and you're here with me. Uh, captain. Well, what's the matter? Who's watching the store? Let <laughs> me know who's watching the store. Chuck and Fred, they're out there, they're having a smoke, and I'm here. We, uh, and, uh... No! I'm scared. No, I'm really scared. I I'm really scared. Only officials are allowed in here. Uh. <laughs> you know, you know, I think we're a half hour late. We lost some uh, time over the Rockies there. I think we'll pick it up between here and L.A. Yeah. It's about time for a bearing check, Captain. Yeah. Give us, uh, give us our position there, pal. What? Give us our position. The, the position? <laughs> yeah. Of, uh, 32 degrees northeast. 32 degrees northeast? Right. <laughs> Give us another reading then, buddy. Another reading? Another reading? Hurry up, we'll win. All right. What is the reading? 16 degrees over zero northwest north. 16 degrees over zero northwest north. Oh. What's going on? 
I don't know. I'll, I'll better get to the tower. Uh, pilot, pilot the tower, pilot the tower. 